Everybody, it's me, Larasha, Goddess Queen, Just Me, 23, and this is going to be um, another Black Widow video uh, as far as the back Black Widow series that I have been doing on my channel. So welcome if you're new to my channel. Welcome if you have been here for a while. Thank you for supporting me. Um, so this is not going to be long as far as an intro. Black Widow is anybody that is... Um, close in your environment are your masculine your feminine environment um, these could be family members friends enemies that are um, disguised in the in the illusion as far as the vertex with the matrix as a um, karmic or an enemy okay but in this lifetime they are either like a family member a friend um, a co-worker, a, a child, like family members include your children too, right? Your mother, father, all family, bloodline, right? Or um, it could be a friend, a frenemy, right? Or it could be, like I told you, same thing for your masculine, your feminine, or them involved with the karmic that is a black widow. It could be the mother of your child, the father of your child, and that's also, like I said, they can play all roles. And this gets exposed to you um, during your spiritual awakening, uh, which is also allowing you to remove yourself from labels. And especially if you are on a twin flame, twin ray, divine partner, life partner, divine soulmate, or if you are like a pharaoh, um, a king, a queen, somebody that's important when it comes to your bloodline, uh, when it comes to you involving and getting your soul and your spirit back, but also exposing the people that have hidden agendas when it comes to bringing your downfall or your bloodline's downfall, right? And um, so that's that's what that awakening is about. And you and your masculine both could have those, if, especially if you're a twin flame, twin ray, divine partner, light partner, divine soulmate, you have those. Uh, your childhood, um, if it was uh, bad, your mom or your father was somebody that neglected you, you know, um, in any kind of way, shape, or form, mentally, physically, as well as emotionally, when you have those bad, you know, relationships, some of you, with your parents, right? Some of you, y'all end up being um, orphans, right? There's a lot of people that watch my videos that are orphans, and you can contest to what happened to you in your childhood, and it gives you a little bit more clarity and that more ease to be able to look at that person as that label and not carry that you know b abide by the laws of the book honor their mother their father as well as the children and anybody by else that's in your bloodline so welcome if you're new to my channel i did take the kipper i'm gonna start using the kipper the two little decks the kipper and the gilded together um i'm gonna start using that i saw this lady doing it and i was like okay yeah that's neat because it gives you a set of doing two separate piles for these cards. And then it gives you a little bit extra juice. Especially if the same type of cards come out from uh, both decks. Right? Because both decks have the same type of cards. The same type of energy. So again, welcome. Thank you for being here. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, as well as share. We do have music in the background. It is on the Stormy Day Hip Hop Radio R now featuring the weekend with Khalif and DJ Mustard Trey Dollar Signs. So let's see what's going on with this Black Widow energy. A lot of masculines are involved with Black Widow energies as far as when it comes to their their the mother of their child or the women that are trying to pin um, children on masculines in order to keep them stuck. Um, same thing with your mother or your father, anybody that was close in your circle that was put there close, but, you know, could 
cause you more harm that will cause you not to be able to stand in your place um, when it's time for you to have your spiritual awakening or be go in union with your divine feminine divine masculine okay so there's a lot of things that fall behind that right to cause you hurt you mentally physically as well as emotionally so let's go ahead and get started let's see what's going on three cards fill yeah so like i was saying or i just said people keeping this is the father bear the mama bear card protection right maze like i said man a lot of masculine males are in trapped in a maze because of father situations right mother situations right some of these are illusions that people put in front of the masculine or the feminine to stop to stop the masculine feminine going in union exactly what i just said just fell out right somebody could be finding out like i told you that um let's say if this 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 person they were involved with um, like I told you, some of them could be finding out that the person was a black widow and they gave birth with a black widow, right? But it was, and they could be coming to grips to that. Some of them are going through this right now. Some of them have already went through it and they're realizing it, right? Because they see how, let's say if you have a masculine where they are really a, somebody that is a very nurturing or caring person when it comes to family and friends, um, they they put that blood is thinker than water even when it comes to divine feminine divine masculine so some of the masculines i feel like they feel like that some of the relationships that they had with the people that they had children with were is like a trap right right it's cost stopping them from blocking them from going to their divine feminine divine masculine right some of them could have also been their physical mother physical father right was the block for this mature man or this mature woman Okay, and then some of them are dealing with this right now where somebody could be pending a child or they're finding out a child um, possibly is not theirs. Okay, and it's another block. Okay, because somebody went barefooted, they went raw diggity inside of this karmic, and this karmic is gonna because he's barefooted at the bottom of his feet. So I'm gonna use that, right? And they're gonna use it to try to trap them because that masculine gave them that one up advantage of sleeping without any protection right expectations right and you you expect that your masculine was sleeping with this person unprotectedly right are out there doing something right or like i said the person that they were involved with was you know putting you know trials and tribulations in front of y'all's journey is what i'm hearing okay slow motion sexual energy with this person right somebody was going to do that you know and you expect the karmic energies to do that right you expect karmic energies to try to pin certain situations on masculines or feminines in order to keep them stuck right so it's not a surprise to you divine feminine or divine masculine right if the divine masculine is dealing with a feminine that's doing the majority of the hurt right and it does not even okay thoughts okay so this person like i told you they're thinking about this right now they're thinking about this i'm gonna put this back because i don't think i shuffled they're thinking about this this isn't what this person is thinking about okay compass right moving towards you trying to get direction to get past this situation like i told you if it is their children they're trying to ask for guidance to get them through this 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 situation because like i said it keeps Every time that they try to put their focus, is this what I'm seeing with this thought card towards divine feminine, either this baby mama or this person that they're involved with. Let's say if they're not, it's not the baby mama and they're just involved with somebody that has kids and your masculine, your feminine is somebody that, you know, takes care of kids, right? Um, they're using that as a blockage, right? So every time he, he, he settles down, this other person senses that their energy is pulling away so they'll use the kids all right or they'll use the um situation as far as when it comes to like uh being pregnant right can't let you go the song that's on right now can't let you go by fabulous can't leave you alone i know i'm living wrong but i can't let you go so black widow energy 
Yeah, it's about a pregnancy. I feel like somebody's lying about a pregnancy. Also, like I told you, this, this masculine sees you as the catch, right? You are the catch in their eyes is what I'm hearing. Six of the will of 16 will of fortune. So like I told you, they're wanting to start a brand new beginning. They're asking, they're, they're getting signs, asking for signs and above how to get themselves out of this trap, right? Or give, give them signs that, you know, their kids are going to be okay if they do leave, right? Is what I feel like somebody's asking the key. Yeah, you, you are the, the catch. I told you, you are the catch in this person's eyes. I know I'm living wrong because they feel like they have a duty to to take for take, provide for their kids or provide for these parents, this mom or the father, right? Is what I'm hearing because his mother expects for them or their father expects for them to take care of you, them, right? Because you are their seed, right? They gave you the key. They gave, they brought you in this life is what I'm hearing. Somebody is, some mother is saying home, okay, a home situation, Somebody has like a parent that's living with them. Cutting off of a certain situation. So like I told you, every time this person thinks about you. Yeah, look, I didn't know marriage was there. A wealthy man in change was right there, right? I didn't see that. Okay. But I'm going to put it back in here. Change, marriage, and wealthy man. Um, I do feel like I told you, if this is a situation with somebody could be involved with somebody that does have money, this person is a provider and that woman, that feminine saw that. Um, and they, like I told you, tried to pin a baby on a masculine feminine um, to bring change to the connection. So masculine does not go towards you. And that was, like I said, the, the maze that they put there. And somebody's going to find that out, that that woman did that and they're going to cut them off. This could also be a situation where this is this person's child and this person is going down memory lane and like he's they're really weighing out their options like as far as this compass being here, right? And I feel like in the past this person was moving towards them. I feel like they're going towards you, right? And they're swimming away. They're swimming away. There's a lot of swimming away. Roxanne by Arizona. Privileged lady, imprisonment. I told you somebody was trying to keep somebody trapped. And like I told you, I really feel like it could have been this person's mother. Or like I told you, it's this person's, the, they, it's a child that's involved, right? It's a child that's involved. And somebody could have lied about a pregnancy. Some of y'all have somebody that lied about a baby. And um, to keep this person trapped and they finding this out, right? And they're cutting this person off. Some of them, like I told you, um, it's their physical mother, which is this privileged lady, right? And they're living with this mother inside their house. And this mother's trying to keep them trapped. Like trying to keep your masculine, keep their titty in your masculine's mouth. Okay. And I'm going to say it just like that. Um... So they're getting ready to cut their mother off for you, okay? And then, then some of them, like I told you, it, it is their child and this person sitting there and thinking about every time that they try to put their time and energy into you, there's always this 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 woman that's cut, expecting for this masculine and feminine to run towards them every time they child needs something or something like that is what I'm hearing. Like I told you, these women are like... They, Oh man, yeah, like I told you, if I have anything to do when it comes to like things like this, like people using their children um, to keep them from their happiness and stuff, like that shit has to stop, right? Because you're keeping somebody in something longer than what you need to keep them in. And then you're also stopping your own happiness because you could have your own twin flame, twin ray, divine partner, life partner out there that you're delaying, right? That could be expecting for you to come in, but you you sitting there playing with somebody else's man, right? The and and you keeping your person waiting, and they trying to expect for you to come in, and you just delaying y'all's y'all's uh journey, right? Your real journey. But a lot of people don't see that. Some women they're very spiteful, they're very 
resentful. They are, they they don't want to see other people win, right? They don't want to see other people win, and that's a trait that some women, a, a lot of women, as women, need to let go of, right? But the, the the women has been the feminine energy has been damaged so much, right? When it comes to competition and looks and the way that you should look and the way that you should feel and the way that the person should do you. Yeah, like I told you, this person's keeping themselves in competition. You have the five of wands here, right? Then you have the six of swords. Somebody's moving away. Like I told you, swimming away. Somebody's coming in with a marriage proposal, a, a love, message of love. The emperor, this represents Aries slash Taurus energy. This person's wanting to settle down. Told you they're going down memory lane, nostalgia mode, right? This is somebody that was from their past. Could have been also a past life connection with this other woman, okay? Somebody's coming and bringing you the tea about this competition or this situation with this child. Are the street rat that they were involved with? Seven of swords. So I'm say I'm gonna say um, be a little bit cautious when this person comes in uh, because, like I told you, with the seven of swords, I don't know if this is their energy or if this is this karmic's energy. Um, this represents deceptive. This represents also the page of swords. It's the turkery trying to one up. Um, it could be also immature in, in energy, right? So watch, some of y'all are expecting for this person to come in because you already know what this person's about. Temperance energy, so Sagittarius. Mask off. This is what I just heard. You have so you have Aquarius, Libra, as well as Gemini, and then you have Sagittarius energy here. Okay. The Knight of Swords and the Knight of the the Knight of Swords and the Nine of Swords. So there is somebody that was like I said, a third party situation that uh, there was another influence that was around that was trying to stop you from moving forward. Um, or this Black Widow was trying to stop you and your masculine from moving forward. I feel like somebody's getting caught and they're shocked. They're getting cut off as well from the competition. This person's telling them that they no longer want to be with them, and the cutoff is real. Is what I'm hearing. That some of them are going to even say harsh things to this person just so they know that they don't want to go back. They're not going back to them. Or the way that this person is getting ready to cut off this karmic could be a little bit immature in this karmic's eyes or even in your masculine or your eyes. But this person has to do it the way. I feel like the way that they're going to cut this person off is a little bit deceiving. Okay, is what I'm hearing. Aquarius. So again, Aquarius, Libra, as well as Gemini energy right there, okay? So uh, Black Widow energy. 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 finances because there's finances that's involved so that's the reason why there's like some deception behind this there could be finances imprisonment somebody could be also trying to take somebody to jail right over some finances or somebody somebody you could possibly have to put money in for your masculine let's say if this karma gets pissed off right and she they know you probably have to get your masculine out of jail is what i'm hearing or your feminine out of jail somebody could be getting needing to be get bit, bit bailed out Okay, somebody was trying to, like I told you, this this karmic or whoever this third party energy, if this was a mother, that they were involved in a contract in a past life, okay, is what I'm getting. So this was definitely somebody that you that was involved in a contract past life as far as a karmic. It was part of your scroll. About the money featuring uh, by T.I., Karmic relationship, look, gods and angels, men and females, the roles are reversed. So you could have 
more feminine in your chart as a masculine or your masculine or you could be a feminine have more masculine in your chart in this decade or in the past life yeah our roles were reversed you if you're a woman this lifetime you were the man in the past life and you're if he's a man in this lifetime they were a woman in the last life like your angels is guiding you your the higher self their their your gods um is letting this person know that this is a karmic relationship right it's a karmic relationship and i feel like somebody's coming and stepping in to tell this person that like somebody has an angel an earth angel And it could be a jailer. It could be this person, this officer that's going to come in and save this masculine or this feminine. And they were part of you and your karmic's uh, contract from the past life and this lifetime to assist you from this black widow. Black Widow energy. Black Widow energy. These cards are huge. So bear with me. You have the King of Cups. So this is King Arthur. So this represents Cancer, Pisces, as well as Scorpio. Somebody coming in with their emotions. Like I told you, there was emotions between them and this karmic. Because like I told you, they're a karmic relationship. So there is definitely... Um, feelings there, history there that came to the surface in this lifetime. I do feel like this person is coming in with this cup is open. They're willing to get, open up their emotions towards you. Like I told you, the Six of Swords is here. Okay, you have the Ten of Cups, Wish Fulfillment, the Eight of Staffs moving towards you. So if there was no communication, somebody's coming in towards you. You are Wish Fulfillment to them, right? Sunshine, lollipops, and rainbows is the card that I get from this. You are their lucky charm, right? The wish fulfillment, somebody's wishes is getting um, granted. Temperance, Sagittarius energy. So they definitely see you as a soul connection, right? If your star, if your sky is um, in, make sure you pay attention to the sky. If it's cotton candy, that's letting you know your divine energy, uh, divine feminine, divine masculine energy. Um, have energies have came in through your your area, so you would feel a difference, a shift as far as when it comes to y'all's connections, okay, and y'all's journeys, okay. Anytime that you see that cotton candy sky, okay. Yeah, the Three of Cups, they're coming in. Wish fulfillment. There was a third-party situation because this was, like I told you, um, Arthur, you know, Guinevere, and Lancelot, right? They were in a third-party situation. She put them in a third-party situation. So there could have been somebody else that was involved. But this also represents wish fulfillment, so celebrations, going, having a wedding, you know, going out, partying, to, uh, you know, hanging out with the people and celebrating with the people that you love, Okay. Yeah, they're coming in. Chariot, somebody's coming into your home. They're driving to your home. You have cancer energy here. This person's moving forward. Nothing is no longer holding this person back, right? So that's cancer energy. Black Widow 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 energy. Kindness. This person's coming in with kindness. You have fruit, bat, and flying fox. Okay, so somebody could be coming to you at night. You have butterflies. So this represents the soul. They see you as a soulmate. Again, you have temperance card here twice, right? Um, so they definitely see you as a soul connection, right? Um, butterfly, cocoon, this person could have been in standstill. Now they are no longer in that cocoon phase, that hangman phase. And that's the reason why the eight of wands is here. They're now taking charge and moving towards you. Okay. Taking action. Black widow energy, black widow energy. You have freedom, breaking free from the situation. I told you on their horse, Gallopling. 
You have a uh, rhinoceros moderation. This person is coming in, and then you're they're gaining their power. The deer, so they have you have all moving energy that moves forward, right? Moves forward without any pro problem. And if they have to headbutt you, they're gonna headbutt you. A horse, a rocking rhinoceros, as well as a deer. Right. So this person is definitely, like I told you, in their power or you're in their power. Again, they're no longer looking at the old way of life or the old way of living, the moderation. Right. Um, part of as far as life, if it comes to labels and things like that. Now they're breaking free from those labels because um, now they're stepping in their power. So I'm going to go ahead and end this reading. Hopefully you like this reading. If it does resonate with you, make sure you like, subscribe, comment as well as share it. You have a great day song that's ending is don't buy bryson tiller i'm damn if i let them catch up and i feel like this is also how this person feels let's say because some of y'all are in a third party situation and if this is a masculine and it's your masculine and they know that somebody else is involved that's how they're feeling they'd be damned if they let anybody else catch up and that's the reason why they'll head a mother head but a motherfucker we some head busters like they they're in that head buster energy okay um <laughs> yeah they're in that head buster energy Yep, Wolverine, they don't give a fuck. They'll fight. You know how Wolverine, he didn't give a fuck if I about fighting Cyclops for Gene. They gonna fight. Uh, like I told you, so they in that fierce energy. Cutting shit off, right? Busting head. We some head busters. Somebody masculine is a head buster. And they wish a motherfucker would. You see this five on here? That's conflict. There goes a 32. There go another five right there. So I'm ending this. Uh, make sure you like, subscribe, comment, as well as share. And you have a great day.